Hello motivators, so we're gonna be doing a get ready with me uh, while I talk about my experiences. Uh, one of them today um, when I was a McDonald's manager and let me tell you, the McDonald's uh, bosses I had there and everybody were awesome. Didn't have a bad experience, but the obviously some customers, oh my, I'm like, really, we're going to be getting this crazy over food? What? Let's get into it. All right, so first of all, my eyes are primed with the ABH eyeshadow primer, and I'm gonna get into this palette from Give Me Glow, which is uh, Pastel Dreams. Looks like this. A bunch of the makeup I'm going to be putting on today is from my project panning stuff. I want to add some blue here. All right, so I'm not even going to let you know where everything's at. Names, I'm going to make up names if I ever do story times and, and definitely I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. McDonald's was good to me. So the only thing is, I'm telling you, people just they are just so rude and get crazy over food or um like people always say like oh my gosh i'm only human um like forgive me or if i make a mistake but shoo i never i didn't see any of that forgiveness or like um like chance or even patience when you're an employee at a fast food restaurant so let me start by saying I was the youngest manager there. I was in high school and I'm like, you know what? They didn't pay me enough to be just a regular employee and I was, I had goals, okay? And I still got goals. Um, at this time, I was like, you know what? I need a car and I need to make some money for college. And of course, my beautiful parents they were always dropping me off uh but i liked you know mcdonald's the people that were there they hired me right away they even started me off well and they liked me so of course i'm working i'm like you know what i want to be a manager because this is this is like i had to do a lot and i just feel like i did i wasn't getting paid enough you know what i mean and i was like you know what i can do all this and be a manager i know how to manage people so why not get paid for more and just be a young manager? So I was a teen, I finally became a manager. And as an employee, I have so many stories we could probably go like get it into, but one of these stories has to do with my first, my first police incident report. I know, it's insane. So this day was like a regular work day and sometimes we're shorthanded and I was like the only manager there. Mind you, yes, I was pregnant young. I'm, I'm pregnant, okay? And when you're pregnant, you know, your hormones, forget it. Like, I ain't got time for it. Um, <laughs> when I'm pregnant, I was like, I don't know. I was like, sometimes I have a little sass because I was cranky and hangry. But this day was dope. I had no, nothing, no crankiness, no like, oh my gosh, like, I didn't have like, oh, I don't even wanna work here. It wasn't a bad day. I had great employees um, that I was managing. And it was a great day. Some of them were pretty young. I always say like, when I was working, I was, I'm like, oh my God, they're so young. And I was literally the same age. I don't know, I just felt more mature, you know? Sometimes some people feel like more mature for their age. And I think they looked at me like I was older because I was a manager. But anyways, um, you know, some of them were also in high school and were new. And people don't realize that we're doing multiple tasks all at once. It's not like I'm taking your order. I am taking your order, um, dropping like fries or um, trying to bag other people's orders and get all your items, you know, multiple things. But if you're in the drive through, of course, and in the back, you are probably making those 
McDonald's little what is it kitty boxes um, stocking sauces putting down cookies when they tell you like fresh cookies so you're not just taking orders you're taking orders while you're cashing people out and stuff like that so it's a big responsibility and lots of multitasking so somebody drives up okay and so I had no choice but to have like somebody that was uh, fairly new in the back and doing all the tasks there was nothing like they were messing up like really just like stumbling across a few things and people should know like these headsets sometimes they don't upgrade them okay sometimes you are having people that are far away from the speaker box and you can't hear or it's a headset malfunction like come on oh by the way this is a give me glow palette and i am getting my use out of this because it's just so pretty i mean look at that look at that so pretty so pretty and i already have mascara on because i had went i've been up early this morning and i was like i ain't taking this mascara off it looks pretty it's making my lashes look really pretty but anyways employee was like they're new they're doing what they can maybe they uh, messed up on a few things but it wasn't major it wasn't major at all um and by the way if you like these uh get ready with me's and a little bit of story time um definitely like subscribe to this channel and my name's ariel and let's continue with this crazy mess that ends up happening like i was saying about multitasking some people really can't i mean i was doing at least four things or more all the time like literally would not stop but i kind of like that i don't know i liked the fast pace of things and it also made like if it was a, a very popular day which would be like Saturdays, Sundays, of course, sometimes Fridays, but not, it's mainly Saturdays. Um, time would go by so fast and I loved it. On that day, it was like medium busy. It wasn't too bad, like I was saying. Um, only a few fairly new employees, I was the only one there. Um, and then uh, another manager came in a little later on. Usually they tried to have at least um two to three maybe um and unless you know you only have like a small time frame where it's like one because you're an experienced manager like myself like i said this employee was like you know not even messing up really anything and it was a beautiful wonderful day not not too much drama not like you know like nothing we couldn't handle as far as like when it gets busy and we're messing up orders or anything no we were not messing up orders that day it was amazing teamwork but then like i was saying about the whole headset thing if people don't know these headsets could be not updated uh, there could be a signal issue there or the speaker outside could have been like malfunctioning or the person was far away but an older man comes up to the speaker box and i heard his order okay clearly i heard his order clearly on the headset um and then i kind of noticed that the employee was kind of like I, i'm sorry what did you say you know like something was going on and i'm busy too in the front and then the other drive through door. So I'm doing, again, probably four or more tasks at a time, but I'm listening. Yeah, but I'm listening. Let's let that sit there. I'm listening, I'm like, okay. But then, you know, I keep hearing the employee kind of struggle. I'm like, what? And then the, oh, I guess this is, it sounds like an older man, in my opinion, the voice, because I don't know it felt like you can tell if somebody's like younger or older based on the voice i think the pitch and stuff like that i don't know maybe it's just experience in the drive-thru i don't know so clearly i think something was going on with uh, again we didn't have cameras to see how far these cars are like away from the speaker um don't know 
if these speakers were or anything was up to date. I know for a fact those headsets were not new. But in the future we did get new ones. So let me put this foundation on because sometimes I can't talk. I don't like the sound of like my cheeks when I'm like and it sounds like weird inside. You know what I'm talking about? This radiance foundation uh from Juvia's place. Definitely if you're not okay with strong smells, even though this is to me this is such a like I don't know tropical fruit Jolly Rancher smell. If you don't like that, because I can still smell it on my face and on my little sponge here, then this is not the issue for you. Putting a little bit of the Keep Me Covered Essence Concealer, like seriously minimum. I might use a smaller brush to blend this out. The order was, what he was saying was, I would like a four piece, like Happy Mom. Okay. Um, and yeah, so the order was a four piece Happy Mom. That's what I heard. Now, while I'm busy in the front, because this is when the lobbies are open, and there's a lot more people in the lobbies. Nice. Um, I get, you know, you can talk over the headset. And this employee like was like, I need a manager in the back. Okay, I was like, all right, so I have to go if they call me. Um, because, you know, incidents like this, if they need help, I need to go. And if it's, you know, um, the customer getting rowdy, I have to go. And she's like, oh my gosh, this person's just, you know, yelling at me and stuff like that. And I feel so bad. So I go back there. I look at the screen. And he's just talking. This person is talking to us. And I look at the screen. I'm like, oh, okay. The employee rang it up as a six piece. And I'm like, nope, I'm already changing. I already know. And I'm like, sir, yes. I'm so sorry this happened. I know what you ordered. I'm putting it right now. And then he's like, excuse me? I, I I don't understand how, you know, this is so complicated and blah, 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 like talking so much like mess. I'm like, sir, <laughs> and here, mind you, I'm over here pregnant. Sometimes I get like hormonal, so I'm surprised that I didn't get crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Like start, you know, raising my voice or anything. I was pretty calm because that's normally how I am. I'm very calm and, um, Definitely don't want to be rude or anything like that. But this person was being rude, an uh, older uh, man, and was just talking mess. But I'm like, wait, sir, you know, just calm down. Is this, and I repeated the order. I, I know what you ordered, sir. I heard it on the headset. And I'm changing it right now. You're not, you did, we, we were not charged. And he kept say, repeating the same thing. I wanted a four piece Happy Meal. And not a six piece, and they're trying to charge. I'm like, sir, but you weren't even charged. You weren't even charged. And he is still there. <laughs> like, he really is just like, here you go. He finally hands me his, um, his card. We run it, and he's talking about. I'm like, sir, you know, there's no need for that. We already changed it. You're not being charged. You weren't being charged for a six piece. I changed it to, you know, what you wanted. Is that not what you wanted? I don't know how this got so crazy. It starts to escalate um, the situation and talk a lot of crap. Um, he was starting to cuss. And, you know, I was handling it. I had the employee out the way because literally we had fixed the issue quickly because I heard it. So I was fixing it right away. He was not never charged for the wrong order, only that it was on the screen. And when you're in the back there, you repeat the order and say, is that what you ordered, you know, and the price. He obviously was like, no, that's not what I ordered. And thought that person was incompetent. And I'm like, you know, in my head, I'm like, why do people not understand? Like a person in the back can make a mistake. Like 
they're dealing with several things at once and dealing with other people cashing them out. And then what if the speaker box or you're far away? You know, what if things are not heard? But I heard it and it was fixed right away and not and he was charged for the correct thing. So mind you, there's other people in the line. So not only is he holding up the line, he's holding up the line, in my opinion, for no reason because there shouldn't be an issue. Everything was changed and he was charged for the correct order. But he continues to like now he's like gesturing and, you know, like I said, cursing and everything like that over four piece kids meal a four piece kids meal to me i'm like don't get me wrong there was wonderful people regulars so nice so respectful and people don't realize like some people do this they stay at mcdonald's for years i'm doing this i had a you know i have goals i had a career it was a mcdonald's for the rest of my life it was you know to help these people to have friends, um, to make money so I could go uh, to college and also to provide for my family. My parents especially, you know, so they wouldn't have to worry about anything. That's what I have this job for. So <laughs> sometimes it was brutal. Like I really was like, really like, I just don't even want to work. And there was like other jobs that this wasn't this to me was the one with the most hours in my opinion because i had so many friends right and they have all these jobs and they like a lot of them like oh my god they didn't give me the worst hours or not enough hours mcdonald's oh, amazing they worked with me um especially because i was going to school and stuff like that so man it, it was so flexible it was wonderful i'm telling you they were wonderful wonderful but dang the experiences i'm like with people that come to get their food it's crazy he's escalating it and he finally moves up because because even though he paid for his order he is still trying to stay there and argue and thing it's like there's nothing to argue about it's been fixed sir and there's people behind you and i kept saying sir can you please move up can you please move up um you know, you're holding up the line. Your order will be at the window, the correct order. I have, and I went over the headset too and, and letting all employees know the order has changed. Just um, be aware. So they had already packaged it, changed it, and got him the Happy Meal. So everything was fixed before he even got to the window. And, and he doesn't even get his food in the next window. He literally does a loop. And mind you, I closed my door because I can just, I just sense that something was going to happen. Lo and behold, he gets out of his, he loops and gets out of the car and wants to fight me. And I'm literally have been so nice and I'm pregnant. It's an older man. I'm like, this is too much. I just locked the window when I said something was going to happen and it did. He went straight to the window and was banging and, and talking about over nuggets that were fixed and he was never charged for anything that was wrong and i'm like are you serious and i'm like sir please step away from the window you're blocking everyone i'm like talking to the one please sir it has been fixed i don't know what you're doing um please show up because i i didn't even call the cops the people behind him a lady called the cops and said she saw the whole thing and that I was being so nice and respectful and she called the cops because that was she was like this is uncalled for and I'm like oh thank you so much like sometimes during that situation I'm like man it's not gonna get better but uh, thank God for amazing people that are still out there um, and he mind you he did all this and he had a child in the car and it was very sad to see. I never wanted, you know, this to happen. I didn't want this to escalate. That's why I was so calm. Um, because there's nothing, there's nothing to escalate for over food. In my, in my opinion, I'm like, okay, like, that's just too much. You're going to fight and, um, damage property and, and look this, you know, crazy over a mistake that was fixed or like anything that has to do with food. Even if it was food, 
and he paid for the wrong thing, refund and stuff like that. You don't act like, in my opinion, you don't act like this. This is not like dramatic and you want to what? Kick someone's butt over this? Like what? And it wasn't even a mistake that, you know, he was like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they went too far for nothing, especially when there was literally nothing he paid for that was an issue. So then the police come and they're like, oh my gosh, what happened? They literally take him away. They take him away because there was witnesses. And this was my first incident report that I had to write down what happened. And, um, and mind you, McDonald's didn't even call the cops. A person that was behind him called cops because she saw everything. Um, and I just was like, man. And I, that's kind of scared the employee too. Like, oh my gosh, did I, what did I get myself into? This, is this how really, is this really how people act at, fast food restaurants and I can say yes yes they do mm-hmm they sure do that was the incident over a six piece that was put on there I changed to a four piece and charged for the correct order that's what ended up happening somebody called away and I had to make my first incident report the makeup look is done Ta-da! thank you so much for joining with me with my little get ready with me back in my teen years when I was a McDonald's manager, the youngest McDonald's manager at my McDonald's. And there's some other crazy stories that maybe I'll share with you, but I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope uh, people don't think, you know, McDonald's themselves like condone this stuff. No, they were really good to me. And I loved my, um, the higher ups, right? They were amazing. So thank you so much for staying with me with this little get ready with me and definitely like subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next videos. Adios.